So, Stephen Allison, it's now been a year since you joined the club and became director of football. How have you found the journey so far and what has been your key learning points over the year? Um, key learning points obviously coming into the club, being in a smaller club before I came here, you don't realise how big Cameron is until you're actually in the building. Um, you don't realise what works involved to taking over the ground and pie stalls and dealing with more fans and social media exposure and that. So it was quite difficult to start with. Um, obviously we started with a huge amount of players. <coughs> um, there was a lot of ingoings and a lot of outgoings in that regards. So uh, aye, it, was, it was difficult to start with but what we've learned as we've went on and we've improved as we've learned, um, it's been an enjoyable journey so far. As things stand, we have already surpassed our total points which we got last season and to the top of the league. What do you make of that and does that just show how far the club has came over the year? I think obviously when we came into the club, first and foremost, we were here to try and stabilise the club. Um, some people made noises when we came in about getting promotion last year. Um, me and the manager felt that we would need to win every single game when we came in. It was, it was a very, very hard ask. Um, I think when we came in, we kind of stabilised the ship. Um, I think we finished okay last year for where we finished. Um, obviously, going into this season, the main aim before we start, and the main aim still is getting promotion and getting ourselves back into the Premier League. So, um, obviously, as we sit just now, we sit top of the league, albeit teams behind us have got games in hand and stuff like that. But I, I, we're more than happy with where we're sitting just now. Uh, since our last interview, we have seen more players join the club, such as Graham Taylor, Kai Wilson, and Aidan Navarty. Are you confident that you have seen players who can help us, us who can help us secure promotion and help us achieve our goals? Um, yeah, first, first and foremost, the quick answer is yes. Um, I think the players that have come in naturally, football and opinions of the everybody's got opinions. Some people agree with some, some people disagree with some. Um, but naturally, I think the players will come in are improving their squad um, and I'm more than confident the squad we've got now can get us promotion. We obviously lost our top goal scorer in Kevin Fogham to up one, but since then, Ken Don has tried to raise his game and score 15 goals this season. What have you made of his performances as well as overall team's performance as well? I think it would be wrong for me to single out any player, um, but I think Kieran's performances of late um, have been very good, um, but I think a lot of that comes down to just his teammates as well. It's not just about Kieran Doan or Scott Sinclair. Obviously, I got a bit of sick of social media with Kevin going away. I see Kevin's been a great player for me. He was with me for a number of years. Um, Kevin would admit himself he's starting to get to the end of his career, whereas the, the, the players that we're bringing in, like Sir Graham Taylor, for example, people can say that he replaced Kevin, if you like, albeit they're different types of players. Um, he's younger, um, so he's, he's got more years ahead than what Kevin has. Kevin's had a great career and everyone at the club wishes him all the best. Um, but on the back of that, Kieran's done fantastic. Scott's came back for a bit of an injury. Um, obviously Kieran didn't play on Saturday, Scott went back in. Um, it, it's good to see such a healthy squad and for them all fighting for places in the squad. They've all done well. Uh, talking about Whitburn, we obviously got a massive victory at Asinor Park on Saturday. Seeing James Finney celebrate towards the terrific away support we had at the end of the game must be a proud moment for you. What have you made of the support from supporters in the time you've been here? Um, the support since I've been here has been absolutely terrific. Um, on Saturday, um, I think James's reaction at the end of the game tells you everything, but we need to keep our feet firmly concrete to the ground, to be honest with you. It's only three points since Saturday, just the same as three points when Rosaif or Vela leaving or whoever else in the league, it's only three points. Um, big win, I must say, um, but it is three points at the end of the day. Um, the support we had on Saturday, um, some people made comments on Saturday at Whitburn saying that some of the, Cameron, the amount of Cameron fans that were there is more than some Saturdays we had at Cam Mears and it was absolutely terrific to see everyone there supporting us and I hope that continues right until the end of the season. When you first came in, improving the stadium and the pitch was sitting there a key aim for you and one you can now take off of a Premiership standard pitch we now have. How proud are you of the hard work and effort the club volunteers put in along with yourself and others over summer for us to have a stadium looking how it is today? 
first and foremost, I'll break that one down for you. Um, when we came in, we wanted to deal with the park first and foremost. Um, I've got a good friend, Gary McCandless, who you guys know as well now. He's our groundsman. He, he came in with me. Um, and through, the, through his guidance and his experience, we brought the company in Allgrass. Um, and I think Gary and Allgrass and Colin and the guys at Allgrass have got to take credit for the park. Um, the food raves are used for the park, the, the, the awards that we got for the SFA for the park, I think speaks volumes for these guys, uh, so they've got to take credit for that. Um, when you look around the ground, whether it be the advertising boards, the place being painted, this new beautiful hospitality suite, um, I think myself and Stuart and Stevie Burden on the committee um, and all the volunteers, they're, they're, I don't want to start naming them because I'll miss some of them um, and that would be wrong for me to do that but all the volunteers at the club, every single one of them um, worked very hard in the summer to make it happen. Um, my wife in the summer thought I'd forgot how to get home because we were here every single day from morning to night but you just need to look at the results running about the place. Uh, we have many sponsors who have joined the club since your arrival. What would you like to say to them? Yeah, well obviously when I came into the club, the club had great sponsors who were already there. Such companies like Muir Equipment Hire, uh, again doing the work in the summer. We could never ever have done the work that we've done without the help of Muir Equipment Hire. The, the, the machinery and stuff like that they gave us um, as part of our sponsor, sponsorship deal, we could never ever have done what we've done in the summer regarding diggers and machine. Just as a whole, we could never have done it. Um, there's companies obviously there, like the 525 Accountancy, who's been my, one of my sponsors with me for a long time, for Sports, Holland Insurance, I'm going to end up forgetting someone here. Um, the, 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 you can see by the advertising, there's loads of sponsors within the club. Fraser's Car Garage, who are a local company, used to be involved many years ago with the club. Um, I'm friends with David at Fraser's Car Garage and I went to him very early and said, would you be interested in coming back and get involved with the club? He was very open to it. Um, we've got a great amount. Uh, some sponsors give us small amounts, some give us big amounts, but but collectively, uh, companies like RGM, um, as I said, Holland Insurance, Foz Sports, uh, Kingdom Coatings, so there's numerous sponsors there. The Plough Hotel, which is obviously my company, the Players Lounge, but, uh, Future Security, Marner Developments, Ironworks, we can sit and go on and on and on. Um, so I don't want to miss any of them. Every single one of them are pivotal to everything that we do at the club. Um, there, there were some sponsors here who chose not to come on the journey with us. The doors are also open for anybody if anybody wants to come back for any amount, whether it's small, big, the, the doors are also open. Uh, so we now head into the business end of the season. Do you think we will still be looking to add to the squad before the March deadline? That's probably a question you've been loving to ask, Daniel. Um, I, I think over the last probably two or three months, myself and the manager keep saying we're finished, then something pops up. We're finished, something pops up. Um, I don't think we'll ever stop trying to improve the squad. Obviously there's a deadline on the 31st of March, which is a cut-off point. I think if the cut-off point came tomorrow, myself and the manager would be more than happy with what we've got it in the building. Um, but I'm not going to rule really out seeing another one or two. Uh, do you have any final comments you'd like to make before we close up here? Um, I would just like to fa thank the sponsors and the supporters. Um, the first year has been very enjoyable. I hope the next year can be as successful as this first year has been. Because um, if it does, we'll be in the Premier League. Um, you touched on it earlier regarding the support we had on Saturday. Um, after discussions with the committee at the club, Due to the volume of numbers that we're at Whitburn on Saturday, the club's going to lay on a free supporters bus this Saturday. Um, details of that will be on social media for you guys either later tonight or tomorrow. Um, there'll be a free supporters bus for anyone locally who wants to come to the game. The bus will be free of charge and once it's full, it's full. Um, Stevie Burden will be taking control of the bus on Saturday. Um, anyone who wants a seat in the bus, please mail the page. Um, for you guys to pick up and Stevie will welcome them, the bus will leave from the social club and um, we spoke to Tags in there on Saturday and they're delighted for the bus to leave to there and go back to there there'll be one pick up, one drop off, it'll be supporters only and we hope we can get some local kids in the, the, on the bus, it's free of charge you will also need to pay into the ground when you get there 
Um, but we hope we can get a big massive support there on Saturday. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.